Hey guys, how's it going? So in this little short technique video, we are going to be talking about how to sew a corner seam. Now, corner seams are a little bit tricky. Um, I originally learned this technique a while ago, uh, but I don't use it too often, but it does come in handy just to know how to pivot things around as you're sewing. Um, it's most commonly seen in, um, and quilting, if you're into that, you probably already know how to do this. But if you're in garment sewing, you may not have to do these sort of techniques very often. So it's just a good thing to know, especially if you're working on something like uh, the new McCall's uh, 7625. That one does have a corner seam, but they're like uh, at an angle, they're like very triangular pointy. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna be doing them on a perpendicular like square just for ease of the shooting and so that you guys can kind of see clearly what I'm doing. Um, if you're doing something with like that really pointy corner seam, um, just take your time. It's gonna be the same sort of technique though, so you'll be good to go after watching this video. All right, so to prep for this video what i did was i drew in my seam allowances just at the corner where the corner seam is going to be now uh, i also did that on this one as well which is going to be the little insert on that corner seam if you guys can kind of see that um but if you're doing this from a pattern you may already have these not uh, this like line drawn in but if you don't go ahead and put that in um, for the video i just kind of did it with a marker but if you're actually using it on your real fabric um, either do it with some taylor's tack some uh, some taylor's chalk or um, you know water soluble marker uh, so I'm going ahead and kind of show you guys the concept of it so essentially what's going to happen is that you are going to sew this guy in place and so if this is the seam allowance you'll kind of be like this when it's all said and done so it'll kind of look a little bit more like that so it would match up here and it would match up at the bottom with this as an insert on the bigger piece now if there's any notches in this one there's no notches but if you're doing it on a corner for example you do want to make sure that you're notched on both like the regular fabric as well as on the fabric that's the uh, the insert so you want to just make sure that your match that your notches line up walk your walk your seam uh, to make sure that at that point it will match all right so what we're going to essentially do when we actually get started sewing is we're going to essentially sew up one end, make sure that it matches up, you know, like pin it, make sure everything matches up. And then we're going to essentially pivot it around. So that's gonna be hard to visualize just when it's flat, but imagine if you're sewing and then you pivot it around to sew the next one, or actually it goes the other way. You set it down this way, sew up, because this will be right sides together. You would essentially pivot it all the way around like that and you would keep sewing. So it's a little bit weird to imagine this way but we're gonna go ahead and just get started with that. So if this is the right side and I've got my pretty floral right side up, I'm gonna go ahead and match it up on that side. Making sure the most important part to match up is going to be the corner of the seam allowances. Now if this is gonna be, if this little like insert is gonna be somewhere that is going to experience a lot of wear and a lot of pulling. Make sure to kind of either reinforce that stitch line and maybe some interfacing or a little scrap piece of fabric just to create a little bit more of a barrier so those stitches aren't exposed and bit, won't get popped out. So anyway, so as I said, we're gonna go ahead and sew up to the point and then I'll show you guys how it pivot on to the other side. First things first, uh, take a moment to do a little bit of a prep work. Um, I go ahead and I do a basting line right along where that seam is going to be turned just because I wanna make sure nothing wiggles and nothing moves while I'm working on it. Uh, this also helps for this step here when I do my little clip a little tiny clip towards the corner just to make sure that everything will indeed line up and I'm not just kind of making a weird clip randomly. Um, so once you do the clip, go ahead and take the uh, sample or your garment back to the machine and go ahead and sew in at your seam allowance. 
Uh, in this example, I'm doing a 5 8 seam allowance. Um, as you get a little bit closer to the corner though, um, slow down, take your needle, hand crank it down to the exact point where those two corners are matching. And then you can go ahead and start to pivot both the, um, the main fabric as well as the insert because you wanna make sure that you're sewing a straight line the entire way. Now, when you put in that little clip, that would allow you to use that needle as a pivot point. So make sure everything's laying straight, laying flat, that there's no fabric that's kind of like bunched up or anything like that. And then you can go ahead and continue to sew your straight line. Uh, I did a little back tack just because I wanted to reinforce that corner. It's totally up to you. I would maybe recommend just doing like one back tack just in case so that that corner is strengthened even just a little bit. And then you can go ahead and finish up that other side. So at this point, this is what it's gonna look like. I go ahead and I take a little snip at the insert as well just so that I can get that seam to lie flat. Now, if you are doing this on a, like a curved seam or something that kind of has a specific way that the fabric wants to lie, just go ahead and pay attention to that. See if you do need to, to take a clip, you might not, you might not have to, um, especially if you're working like on a princess seam, you might, you might wanna have those seams go in a specific direction. But uh, in this example specifically, I wanted to get it as flat as possible. And you're gonna wanna smooth out all the seams as best you can just so that it looks neat and professional. A little steam, a little pressing, and it's looking pretty good, nice and crisp. And here you go, it is complete. You can see that those corner matches up perfectly, that my little inserted piece fits perfectly. And then once you flip it upside down, those seams are completely pressed open uh, just to reinforce everything. So guys, I hope you guys like this video. Um, definitely give this a try on your sample paper or not your sample paper, your, your sample fabric before you cut into your really nice fabric. Um, just so you know how to do it, how to visualize it, how to kind of move it across the sewing machine as you're working. Um, don't freak out if it doesn't come out right the first once or twice that you do the sample. Uh, it definitely took me quite a lot of trying and give or take, um, probably about five, to 10 times to make sure that I got it down right. Um, so especially if it's gonna be in a place that is very, very visible, you wanna make sure that you know exactly what you're doing when you're manipulating your self fabric. But anyway, if you guys like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, all the places, all the stuff, support on Patreon, and I'll go ahead and see you guys on the next one. Bye. Hey, you know you're not supposed to be sitting there. Bajate. Come on.